Hello everybody, welcome back, or rather, welcome myself back to play some, uh, Dungeon of the Endless. Let me just get this configured here, I still have it on full screen, which I do not want to have. Instead, I want to have it in 1280 by 720 because I am a scumbag, and there we go. Let me know, I know the music is awesome, let me know how it sounds relative to the burr. I've not heard uh, about Dungeon of the Endless before. Basically, it is a, uh... Tower defense, strategy, roguelite-ish game uh, that came out last year and was one of uh, Kate's favorite games of last year for sure and a game that I spent a lot of time with as well. Um, we're going to get started here with a new game. And I'm going to try to remember... Uh, tower defense later? Pretty bad. Uh, but I, I think it's part of the new T uh, or, uh, new DLC. TLC. Uh, Tender Love and Care. Let's start with... Um, Max O'Kane is one of our characters, and we'll take Sarah Numis as our other one. So we have like a melee character um, that is. Fo oh no, she's more focused on speed and DPS. And then this guy starts with like the mechanic ability, is that correct? Heavy and engineer is the way you should start. Which one is the engineer? I'm assuming that prop. Oh, maybe the TF2 doctor? <laughs> Actually. I actually missed it there. An engineer. This makes a lot of sense, but now nah. we're gonna we're gonna use the original characters here. Gork sucks, man. You know what, Kate? <laughs> you you don't suck. You're actually quite good. All right. So the way that this works, we can zoom. Oh, they're gonna let us do the tutorial first, which is probably a good idea, actually. You survive the crash. The only system in working condition in the pod is the crystal. It's your source of energy. Defend it at all costs. Staying put will not help. You have to right-click on the door to open it, and this spawns like a new wave. Left-click to select a hero. You don't directly control the movement for the fight. The hero knows what to do when they are in a room. Right-click to move a hero into the room. You have four resources to manage. Industry, science, food, and dust. Opening a door is like a new turn. You get resources depending on your print up like so. Waiting for your action. Click with the mouse, middle click to power up a room. Oh! Middle click doesn't work on this mouse. Sometimes. Um, let me find the key bind for that. Power room. Room power. Left control, right control. We're looking for middle click mouse button. Give me a moment here. Top level tutorial content. This is the first time I played it on this computer, actually. This game looks dope as hell. It it looks and sounds dope as hell. Thought maybe I could use the alt keys to make this happen. One second. Room power. Left control. Left control plus question mark. Oh lord, what have I done? Reset controls. Yes, I do need help. Yeah. You can use the uh, control key and then click it. Press it. Oh, thank you, Kate. And then for the helpful short keys, this is to select all your team members. And then first team member, second team member. And yeah. then for the module, if you don't want to click it all, it's the bottom. Sure. Z, X, C, B. And uh, if you press shift and um, install any of the small modules, yeah. you don't have to. It's just uh, basically... It doesn't go away, so you can cleanse it multiple times. Sure, thank you. No problem. <laughs> Powered rooms show their content even when there's no hero present, allowing you to build modules and prevent creatures from spawning inside. Clicking the same way on the room allows you to depower and get back to 10 units of dust. Done. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Build modules with industry by using the bottom left menu, so we can make an industry generator and put it down right here. Your team can include up to four heroes. Right click on their portrait to open up hero management. In this panel, view their stats, Explosive heal, and level them up. Thank you for the subscription, Jonesy1026, by the way. And equip them with items from their inventory. I remember this part, at least. Use spacebar to pause. I've played Paradox games before. Uh, your goal, reach the surface. Okay. So this is our um, this is our tutorial. I'm going to exit out and start a new game. Even though I'm not sure we actually have to do this. But I'd, I'd like to start in not the tutorial. Even if it doesn't matter. So we'll start with this guy. And Kate said... Gork sucks, so maybe we'll roll with Crayong instead and start the run. 
it seems like a little overly complex, but really once it gets started, there's a lot of systems that you just t are taken uh, or inspired by other games that are easy enough to sort out. Um, there's a little bit of like tower defensey stuff, and then there's a little bit of base building stuff, a little bit of 4xy stuff. All right, so we open our first room. We got some dust. We will power on the room, and we should choose a resource to um, to use here. Let me just refamiliar refamiliarize myself here with uh, the skills that they have. Pack of dogs, attack power plus 6% when their mates are nearby. Endless expert, after a lifetime of seeing fakes, you know real ones. Okay, and then Crayong has attack power plus 18 if an artifact, or plus 10 if an artifact is active in floor. Boosted by the presence of a precious artifact, self speed plus 7 if an artifact is present in the floor. Okay, nobody has any active skills, that's easy enough. Um, let's start by getting a... Uh, an industry generator because that is what they recommended so we will build that they used a lot of our industry points select everybody open the next room we will fight some enemies I believe after a wave is killed um, everybody heals up all the way again yeah they do so then we'll power up this room so the power management is an important aspect uh, because you have to keep a continuous chain of power in order to do this uh, in order to, to power up rooms that are after it. So, uh, we're hoping that maybe we'll find one of those sooner rather than later. You should level up Krayang to level 3. Once he gets there, he's amazing. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Uh, Rapier has been added to my inventory. We should probably equip that on whoever uses a melee weapon. Oh, he doesn't use a sword. He uses a spear. So, that's actually useless for us right now. Uh, okay. Well, we want to power up this room for sure. And we need some more dust to get to the next level of power, unfortunately. But we can uh, install maybe a food. No, we cannot. We need one more room, then we can make a food uh, generator. No, that's a spear. You are not incorrect, as we have discovered. Restrainer has been added to your inventory. This is uh, something we can equip on this guy. And he'll get a little extra defense. NL looks at chat, but only at Kate's comments. You guys have never been married before, have you? We'll install this food replicator here. And then... I think we can level up Crayong once. Whoa! Great pickup for the first floor. Oh, thank you. I have been practicing. That's not true. This is my first game in almost a year. But the reason uh, Kate and I have been playing this more lately is... Well, just very recently, actually. Not necessarily lately. Is because, um... They just came out with new content and, and new DLC as well. Okay, we gotta stop this thing. Some of the enemies have different priorities. Like, some of them attack you right off the bat, and some of them go instead for your crystal. And when they go for your crystal, um, that's bad. Because if your crystal dies, you lose. So we're trying to find the exit on this floor. Um, hmm. We can't power up this room. The problem with not powering up a room is if you don't power it up and you change turns... I think there's either a chance enemies spawn there, or possibly even, yeah, a guarantee that enemies can spawn there, which is what happened here. So we're gonna try to stop these crystals from getting to our crystal. Power up this area so no enemies spawn there again. And we can also build, um, passive turrets. We may or may not need to on our very first floor, but it's probably sensible to get started on it anyway. But I don't remember, Kate, do you actually take uh, the resources with you from floor to floor, or do you lose the resources when you go down to the next floor? If you leave your hero in the unpowered room, the monsters won't spawn there. Okay, thank you. Hey, NL, I just ran away from my job interview to watch your stream. Definitely don't do that, but I appreciate it. Okay, so why don't we leave um, our level one guy in here, then? And Crayon with 25 can get to the next level and he gets an active skill character or monsters in floor get speed minus 40 percent it lasts for eight seconds and its cooldown is three rooms okay nl will you ever return to darkest dungeon absolutely i will return to darkest dungeon but uh i'm gonna wait for the full release to actually come out the resources persist but not using them all can be dangerous good to know Come on, you got this. Well, I guess we can now safely put this guy up here. 
Never fear, Crayon. And we can use our food to heal them if we have to. And now, why do you keep calling the guy Crayon? Well, that's, <laughs> you know, that's his name, right? And now, will you ever return to Fez? Oh, man, if you thought the comments were bad for that last Rebirth run. Well, we should try to power up this room, but we actually can't and still uh, be able to keep moving here, so... Hopefully we get enough dust on this room. Oh, this is our exit. Okay. So now, because I have to be escorted by our other unit, and minions will definitely spawn in here. So actually, why don't we maybe build some uh, some defenses? Um, if we don't explore, do all the doors open? And as a result, um, like the enemies can come from this room into where we are already? Oh, we got the extra dust anyway, so we might as well power up this level. Kate, he's way too overpowered with this Kate carry. What's the key for speed upgrade? Or not speed upgrade, but just faster speed. Fast forward, I guess, is what I'm thinking. Okay, we're going to take our crystal. We're going to pause, and then we're going to get this guy up here. And he shouldn't have any trouble. Oh! I didn't even see that one. Okay. Crayola, you're coming down here. I didn't see that door. My own idiocy, of course. He's gonna be okay. He should probably also use his active ability. There's no fast forwarding in the game. All right. So we'll use his active ability to slow down enemies. I may lose on the first floor. <laughs> Kate says, oh god. How did these enemies get through my prisoner pod? Kate, what does oh god mean? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna die. Crackle of hell, RIP ears. I have died on the first floor. But you know what? I think we learned a lot. Let's try this one all over again. New game. That was my, uh, that was my re getting reacquainted myself. Take you, take Crayon, get started. Oh well, time for XCOM. No way, man. We're gonna have a good run here, I promise. It just takes a little while to get back into it. It's a game like no other, despite its influences coming from, you know, genre-spanning titles. First room, we got dusts. We will build, this time, uh, a food replicator. Although, no, you should definitely build industry first because it enables you to build more build more stuff in the future. But that's okay. We make a small mistake. We'll come back. Power up this room. It has been powered. If you die this run before reaching floor three, I'm going to go in and help you. Well, all right. Don't patronize me. Uh, okay, we want to get Krang to level 3. That's level 2. Are you excited for Kentucky Route Zero Act 4 to come out soon? I actually uh, haven't played any of the ones since Act 1, and it's kind of like... It, it's like making me feel bad about myself, because I really should. I, I quite liked Act 1, Act 1, and I heard Act 2 and Act 3 are amazing. So we can power this room up. We need a little bit more before we can build our first industry generator. One more room that actually has enemies in it would do it for us. Alright. Crayola. Level 3. Next we can focus on leveling up our other dude. We don't have enough power to get that one open, unfortunately. You guys pretty strong. Takes a minute. Can't power the room, not enough dust, right? We gotta do this one first. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's build our industry generator. What is this sorcery? It says XCOM in the docket. Yeah, XCOM's coming up next, man. Never fear. NL, how does an air horn sound? Eh, eh, something like that. Uh, let's analyze the Kip Cannon. It shoots knowledge. Knowledge is power for this cannon. 
So it actually shoots science. Dust field generator adds 36, or is that 30? I can't tell because of the deadline in my monitor. Increases the defense of heroes on this room. I don't think that's that necessary right now. Best air horn impression. Hollow hero, yeah, it's okay. I think maybe I should save up and then get the uh, industry generator, but what if I don't finish it before the end of this? Hmm. Whatever, let's just get the Kip Cannon to start with. You must have enough fuel units. I know where you're going with that one. You guys want me to get some knowledge. You all right, Krang? I mean, I guess we might as well send in uh, Han Solo here. Oh, don't let the crystal get away. Kate says you're doomed. Kate, why am I doomed? That's a shit module, in my opinion. That's alright. We'll, life goes on. You need 25 to level up. What happens when you become an engineer? It's like he can automatically repair the stuff that he, um, that he finds. Is this correct? Alright. We should maybe take the time to explore some more. So maybe we'll fall back to this choke point here where enemies are definitely going to have to come through and explore this room over here. I can smell the artifacts. Yes! Where where are the artifacts? Is this the artifact? Do I have the do I have the passive bonus now? Come get a taste. We don't need to slow the enemies right now. Oh, he works on the main modules and gets more resources out of them. Okay. Alright. Heroes in room attack. Oh, that's the active skill. We might as well pop that right away. No deaths. No deaths. Maybe fall back a little bit. Definitely no deaths, though. That's an important part of the, the system here. Yeah, we're good. No, pra Kate, you scared? Don't be scared, homie. All right. Now that we have some industry, I think that we should uh, maybe have some prisoner pods. What do they cost? Three each? Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing at all. And this is just to protect our um, our dudes as we, or our crystal actually, as we explore a little bit more. All right, let's try this one. I wish him the best of luck. <laughs> oh, it's it's one of these things. Okay. So now we have enough to power one more room. Which, actually, we should probably use on this one right here. So, let's depower this. Power this. I don't know what happened on this one. Don't we normally have to click on that thing? And now, even your wife thinks you're a scrub at this game. That's nothing new. Floor. Or the last door of the current floor of this dungeon. Oh, plus 10 industry. Okay. We have pods in this room, so if enemies spawn here, they're probably going to die. The question would be, can our dude run fast enough? No, not you. you. You're supposed to stay up here. Can our dude run fast enough to get to the safe-ish room? We can also cut this one, but then we're going to have a lot of a lot of nonsense in this room. But once we get through this room, it's gonna be it's gonna be safe, right? Like once once he gets into this room and past it, we can use the slow and just run to safety. Okay. We're gonna try this. I'm gonna pause. He's grabbed this, and then he's just gonna run. You got this, Krang. Let the prisoner pods do the work. Okay, now Krang pops this bad boy right here. And 
And then we start... Oh, we don't have to run, necessarily. We should protect him a little bit. Just give him as much time as possible to get ahead of the, the curve. Oh, we good. No problem whatsoever. Wait, there's a static noise every time I pick up the crystal? I don't know what's causing this. Blood in my headphones, what was that spike? I don't know, it's like every time I pick up the crystal that happens. Maybe if I just turn the game down, uh, game sound down a little bit, we'll be better off. Like that. Don't pick up the crystal, that, that would be a problem. Check it out, we made it through the first floor! Kate said if I don't make it past the second one, she's gonna come in here and help me. I think I just got laser ear surgery. Well, that's... I don't think that's a thing, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, what would your strategy be for this floor? You think I need some more science? You think I need some more knowledge? Daddy, don't mean... Okay, I won't. Sorry. Um, first things first. Industry generator to allow us to do more stuff here over the course of the rest of the floor. Power up the room. I bet my money that on the third wave he will die. Kate. Please. Neurostun module. Minus 30% speed to monsters in the same room. Reduces the movement speed of nearby enemies. That doesn't seem that... I mean, it seems good. I've played some tower defense in my day. I understand the value of this. But does it is it worth the science, though? I'm going to assume that the answer is yes. I'm going to give it a try. We might as well do something with our science if I'm not doing anything else with it right now. Let's go up to our next room. Oh, hello! I think I saw Spy. But not sure which one. This is our TF2 heavy. We can't hire him right now, but we can hire him relatively soon as long as we don't level up our other units. That's a neuro or the neuro stun module is good. Neuro stun is amazing, even better. There is a there is a dead individual in here. Yo, you all right? He's okay. 35 food is a level, but to hire this guy we need 39. So we can if we do one more wave, we can hire him. I think we should probably keep going in the same direction here so that we can keep kind of like a contentum. So he gets health or he gets speed bonuses when he's uh regenning health. And now don't play on easy, you'll die. Yeah, and I I love how it's easy and too easy just to make me feel as bad as possible about my performance. Oh god, I hate the heavy. Kate, you be careful what you say. I want to power up this room because I definitely would like to build, um, maybe a, a science creator. So we can research more on this floor. Uh, and it's also probably sensible to come back here. And maybe build a food replicator. And we got one of each on this floor. So I think if we just leave our weakest unit, which I think is this guy, in here. And then take our other two units up here, this should be good. I don't think it violates copyright because I think Valve has given them the sign off, obviously, to to do the T to use the TF2 characters in this. Which seems very common. Alright, easy room. Hmm. No power, though. Or not enough power, at least. Well, what if we leave, uh... Craigasm in here, and then we just take the heavy up this way? It's... Alright. Mechanical Pal and send Craigasm up to the other one. And this is the end of this path. It's our exit. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, we want to finish exploring before anything else, so... Let's fall back into this room for a second. Thinking maybe we set it up like this. And then on this room, we put like, um... I don't really want to put Prisoner Prod 2. Because we, uh... Or Prisoner Prod 1, because we're going to have Prisoner Prod 2 soon. Prisoner Prod or Prisoner Pod? Yeah, it's Prisoner... Prisoner Pod. Um... And then I think we'll have uh, Craigasm explore one more room here. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you, NL? Depends what you what you mean by confident. Uh, confident that I'll win the run? Zero. I'm zero confident. Confident that I'll um, I'll survive for now? Pretty, pretty confident. Um, smoking gun one. Kate says just focus on the main upgrades. Okay. So I will do that. Turrets auto-upgrade and don't cost more. That's incredibly good news. I must not let the treasures be corrupted by these oafs. Okay. Obviously, this guy's gonna need some help. So let's throw down some prisoner pod. We're gonna throw down some turrets. And then we're gonna have everybody fall back into this room. Whoa, 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 whoa. This seems dangerous. When do these enemies get so strong? Still don't have enough power. Hmm. When Kate panics, you know it's gonna be GG. I don't know, we did fine. We did fine there. Uh, we've unlocked something else, so first off, science. Oh, we need 48, right? Yeah, we need 48 to get the land module one. Maybe we should keep everyone together temporarily. I mean, they're, they're gonna have to walk through the turrets to get to us anyway. We need some more power, man. 5,000. Okay, so there's enemies up there. Everybody fall back into the safe room. Land is not good. Land sucks. Okay, we can industry, or we can research industry level 2 instead then. Oh, they broke my science module! I mean, life goes on, but still. Oh, that's also land module. Okay, let's get, like, mechanical pal then. Might as well be spending our science. Um, we're close enough to the end that I don't really want to... Don't really want to explore. Build more modules right now. We found the end of this way. What do we get? Kitchen gloves. Put those on... The heavy. He seems like he could use some gloves. We got 47 food. Let's level up the heavy to level 3. Now we can eat a sandwich and give health regen. Okay. I guess if there's only two doors left, we don't get the research then, do we? That would be subpar. Aha, it's Caesar's Legion. I've opened the last door of the current floor of the dungeon. Oh, but we still got the research. What is this thing? Activate for 30 industry? Absolutely. That gave us 24 extra dust. That is a godsend, so we can power up, like, almost all these rooms. We'll just keep those ones powered for now. But in the future, we may have a problem here. We may have to use some food to heal. Watch the health bars. Watch the health bars. Watching the health bars. We're fine. Okay. Okay. Kate, ye of little faith. This is how we're going to power this floor for sure. So that we can get in there with the crystal, no problem. Kate says, nah, you got this. You're darn right I got this. So we send our fastest dude to grab the crystal. No crackle this time. 
Beautiful. Look at that. Easy peasy. There was never a doubt in my mind we'd make it here. So this is a roguelite resource management dungeon crawler. How have I never heard of this? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't... Uh, I guess we're going to get out of here, but I did a lot. Like, Kate got super into it, and I played probably like six or seven hours as well, which is above average for me for stuff that I do Let's Look at, uh, for sure. But um, a lot of people just... I think they... You saw in Twitch chat, you know, someone would say like... Uh, uh, you know, tower defense, I'm out. I'll be back in an hour. A lot of people don't give it a chance because I think the, like, back-of-the-box description they kind of think is lame as an assumption. All the Endless games are pretty nice. I, I really like the kind of, like, unifying aesthetic. As always, I'm going to start with industry. That was only floor two? Yeah, the, the one thing I don't love about Dungeon of the Endless is that the game takes, um like five hours to play through one full run so it's a little bit more like one of those kind of dungeon crawlers where you have to save as you play okay we're definitely going to save up for industry generator too um you have to probably most of the time save and come back which uh some people are totally cool with that i'm not a an enormous fan sometimes because i, I kind of lose my focus the endless games have some of the best uis out there that is absolutely true just the way that they're, like, the zoom out, zoom in, it's so nice. And the game, like, it, it looks really, really nice. It's not just, you know, cheap kind of like, I, I don't want to be rude, but you know what I mean. Like, 16-bit because we couldn't do anything else. Like, there's, there's genuine style and aesthetic here. I think we won't activate this yet. We'll wait until we get our first uh, industry upgrade first. Prioritize that. Uh, definitely made a mistake there. I <laughs> should have powered up this room. Hopefully we don't have any HP problems. No, we don't. Okay. Good, good, good. We're all powered up here. We have enough food to level up. I think we should go for level 3. Just keep them active, you know? Keep them all leveling up. What about you? How close are you? Do you get a skill? You get a passive skill? Maybe we should level up whoever gets a passive skill, or at least prioritize that. Let's continue going down this path right here. Sorry, I want everybody, not just the heavy. And we found our exit already, which I would like to keep powered up as long as possible. This seems like... I mean, we could just walk into the exit right now, but we'd be missing out on a lot of resources. By floor three, you should have at least... Groig? Uh, absolutely. For now, let's leave uh, Super Weak Man in here. He's not super weak, but you know what I mean. Come down here. Is there any place more to build? Ah, uh, there is. There is, indeed. So Kate says we need food. So let's build a food generator quickly. Food replicator, sorry. And we can also, if we depower the exit, we can power up this room and thus build a module in there. And then we'll send this dude to the exit to keep it safe. And now luck strikes again. What are you talking about? Don't be jealous. Kate says we need food. Check that out. There's a couple of double foods right there. All right. Everybody open this door. We'll see what's going on in here. If Kate told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? That depends on the... It depends on uh, what it would mean. Well, should be five plus. This girl is out of her mind. I don't know what she's talking about. Five plus. Okay, now we can power this one. Um, um, do we really want to open this door with just one person now? Like, that seems kind of dangerous. But it also keeps enemies from spawning, so maybe... Blue-eyed guy, thanks for the two-month resub, by the way. Much appreciated. 
Okay, well, what if you stay here and then you go explore? Pretty soon we're going to run out of resources here. Use Scroig as your main character. He's too good. We're about to find out just how good he is. Uh, he's actually, he seems pretty great. Let's have everybody fall back to this room. Except for Scroig, who's going to run far, far away. Part. Okay, everybody's alive. But we're losing resources. Maybe this is the time where I'll say... Oh, whoops. Maybe this is the time where I'll say, um, let's just get ready to get the heck out of Dodge here. All doors will open. But I think we should still be able to make it. Let's give this a try. Scroig's got it. You're gonna pop the slow, and everybody's gonna run. I mean, it's so close to the exit, it seems like a good idea. We got some extra dust as well. Can't power it up though. Well, that's a new tactic for sure. This girl's so salty, but check it out. We just got to the end of the floor, no problem. He has 16 food. Is that a, is that a problem? I didn't realize food was so important. We got the heavy still got a sandwich as well. Um, I think uh, you know Dungeon of the Endless, a fitting name because it can go on for quite some time. We're gonna uh, call it quits here, but uh, thank you for watching this part. We're gonna move on to play some XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you in three minutes here. I'm gonna leave this music.